In this video we are making crochet shoes for your 10 inch classical semi doll. Start off by chaining 7. If you're new to crochet I invite you to check out my learn to crochet for beginners video series on YouTube. The link is down below in the video description. Wind the yarn around your finger twice, put the back loop over the front one and now pick up the back loop with the crochet hook and you have your first loop to begin your crochet work. And now we are chaining seven and once we have our seven we are starting in the second stitch from the hook and we are making five half double crochets. So one half double crochet each into the next five stitches. If you've already made a shoe for the 8 inch semi doll, then it's just basically the same thing, just with a few more stitches here and there. So now we have our five half double crochets, and now we're going to make six half double crochets into the next stitch. Two, three, four, five, oops, five, and six. And now I'm pulling on the tail here to make the stitch a little bit tight. Now I'm going to make half double crochets into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're making five half double crochets into the next stitch. And then we are ending the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. There we go. And now we're going to begin the second round with a chain stitch. And now we're going to cut off the tail here, the yarn tail. And we've been working it into the sole of the shoe. And now we're going to make a half double crochet each into the next five stitches. And now we're going to make two half double crochets each into the next six stitches. So two half double crochets into the same stitch for the next six stitches. Just gotta make sure, yes, this is the second one. <laughs> Third one. fourth one fifth one and 
and the sixth. And after that we're going to make one half double crochet each into the next five stitches. And now we will be making two half double crochets each into the next five stitches. As you can see this is really similar to the 8 inch doll shoe and all the other doll shoes as well. They all start off the same way which makes it easy. <laughs> And we're ending the round with a slip stitch and we start off the next round with a chain stitch. In this round we are only going to work in the back loops or the way I'm preferring it. I'm not going in, that's, this is how I usually would go in, but I'm just going into the back loop now and I'm also picking up a loop from the previous round so I still have two loops to work with which makes it all a bit sturdier but this is just my personal preference you can of course only stitch into the back loop which is I think the traditional way to do it I'm not sure I just saw it done this way once and that made so much sense to me and I kind of think it makes the whole project a little bit more sturdy and yeah as we're changing the direction of the crochet work we're working upwards now instead of increasing the width of the foot sole. This is what we're doing. And we're just making single crochets all the way around into the back loops or the back end other loop of the previous round. <laughs> I'm going to speed up the footage here so because you know what I'm doing here and I'll see you at the end of the round. And here we are, almost back at the end of the round, making the slip stitch. And now we're starting off the fourth round with a chain stitch and we're going to make single crochets into every single stitch of the round, all the way around. And I'm also going to speed up the footage a little bit here, because it's always the same thing and I don't want the video to get too long because then it takes really 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 long to upload and also it takes really 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 long for you to watch and I want to make it a little bit easier on all of us. <laughs> Thank you. 
And here we are again at the end of the round, making our slip stitch. And we're starting off the fifth round with a chain stitch, and now it's going to get a little bit more interesting. We're going to start off with three single crochets. And now we're going to single crochet two together eight times. If you want to see how the single crochet two together is done in a little bit more detail and not as quick as this, then I invite you to check out the Learn to Crochet series on YouTube where you can practice all these different stitches before jumping head on into making your dolly shoes here. So this is the eighth time I think. And now we're just going to make single crochets until we get back to the beginning of the round. And this will start decreasing our project, so we're getting a nice little um, shoe pattern that encloses the dainty little feet of our dollies. <laughs> And here we are back at the beginning of the round making our slip stitch and we're starting off the sixth round with a chain stitch again and we're going to make single crochets into every single stitch of the round all the way around and as usual I'll see you at the end of the round again And here we are at the end of the round again, making our slip stitch. And now it's time, time to make the ties for the shoes, which means we're going to chain 28 eight stitches, make 28 chain stitches. And then we're going to slip stitch all the way back down again to the shoe edge. And then we have our first tie. I trust that you're counting your stitches and I hope I'm not interrupting you. And here we are at the top of the chain and we're going to make slip stitches all the way back down to the shoe edge creating our first tie. It's a little bit fiddly in the beginning, but as the chain gets a bit longer, you can hold on to it and then it gets a little bit easier. And maybe you're working with some really, really smooth yarn that makes it a little bit easier than what I'm doing here <laughs> right now. Okay, I see you again when we get back to the shoe edge.
so here we are nearly back down at the shoe edge and then we're going to make slip stitches into the next 14 stitches until it's time to start off the next tie And here we are at stitch 14 and now we can start chaining again 28 28 28 chain stitches gosh this is like a tongue twister 28 chain stitches 28 chain stitches <laughs> and once we're up at the 28th stitch we're going to slip stitch all the way back down to the shoe edge again And once we're back at the shoe edge, we are just going to make slip stitches into every stitch until we get back to the beginning of the round. And then we are already done with our first two for the 10 inch classical semi doll. There we are, back at the beginning. Sometimes I make just another couple extra little slip stitches. It makes it look a bit pretty, I think. <laughs> and we can finish it off by cutting off the yarn and then we're pulling the yarn through the last loop. Now we're using our wool needle to sew the yarn and hide it in the crochet work. And then we can cut it off and the first two is done. So here we are, a little shoe. So now you can make another shoe for your little dolly and I hope your doll will enjoy having such pretty and comfy shoes on her or his toes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful to you. Please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe for more videos. And if you want to support me, head on over to my website and have a look at my patterns. The link for the website is down below in the video description. I'm really grateful to your support. I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.